Hey everybody, and here we are on the third episode of Talk and Fix. I'm joined again by FW Universe from Instagram. He also has a YouTube channel that I'm going to put into this, the description this time. Um, I kind of forgot to mention that last time, but he also has a YouTube channel. Uh, maybe you want to say what you have going on there on your YouTube channel so people know what they're getting into over there. Um, to be honest, not a lot. Uh, I have a few uh, Big Fed um, matches. I have my WrestleMania there, a few other stuff. I might uh, return to YouTube very soon. We'll have to see if, if I get the time for it. I'll definitely work on my channel. Yeah, he has like a, a few pick fed matches on there that I also watched. So uh, you should definitely check that out if you're into like figure matches and all that kind of stuff. Uh, if you enjoy GCW WrestleMania, you might enjoy that one as well. And speaking of GCW WrestleMania, um, I'm about to record another talk and fix about GCW WrestleMania that I promised you guys. But as you noticed, there was like not a lot of content on the channel this week. It was like... I was just so busy catching up with stuff uh, after GCW WrestleMania because I put so much time into it. But now we're getting here back on track and we're going to cover like all the most recent figure news which haven't been a lot. But we did get pictures of Battle Packs 47 and Ringside has them in stock already. So they kind of did not get the proto images again. And in this set we have uh, four different Battle Packs. And there's like a few interesting things in that set. But I would say we just start off with the Rusev and Roman Reigns battle pack. And this would have been a cool battle pack if it would have come out like half a year ago. Now I'm not really interested in it anymore because Rusev got like the new haircut. Even though the hat skin looks pretty alright. I think I don't really need it because Rusev looks different now. And Roman Reigns in the red attire, I think that is going to be the attire he's going to get in Elite 51 or uh, 2. So I think I'm not going to pick that up. I don't really need that battle pack. Uh, what do you think about the battle pack? I uh, totally agree about it being outdated. But the figures still look like kind of updated. We have uh, Rusev from his um, very recent run with... Um, with the trunks and the knee pads and the long boots, I think um, the new face scan is um, is a very very good representation of what he looked like. And uh, yeah, maybe maybe after he cut his hair, you re really don't want it. But maybe he, he tries to grow it back at the time he is away. So I heard he got hit after the fact that. Um, he cut his hair without permission or something. So I bet he's going to return to that look uh, sometime in this year. So what I would do is like grab grab this battle pack some, somewhere in the future if uh, it looks like that. But one thing to say about the attire, I'm, I'm not a fan of attires that says like US Champion, SmackDown, or like one spe specific like event or situation because you can you can really play play with him if he if he's not U.S. champion in your fed or something like that. Um, but Roman you don't get much much else than the new new vest. So if you get the Rusev for the head, you can swap the new vest and Roman. So just the battle pack to get your new <laughs> to get your elite elites fixed. Not nothing more to say than that. Yeah, that's true. I, I agree on that, like, US champ thing. I, I remember, like, my first J Jax John Cena that I got back in the day had, like, the, the champ is here t-shirt painted on. And when I played it, it with it, it was kind of annoying because he wasn't the champ in my fed. So uh, I definitely get your point there. Uh, then we have another battle pack, uh, which is Sasha Banks and Charlotte. And... I think they did a better job on the Sasha Banks head scan. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of either of them. I'm like not the biggest women's fan at all in wrestling. So I don't really like Sasha at all. Uh, I think she's so bad on the mic, especially since she is on the main roster. And she didn't really have any good matches 
Um, I really do agree that her stuff with Bailey and NXT that was really good, but after that, there was really nothing good about Sasha Banks, and I really think this rivalry is so overrated with Charlotte too. I always say that, but the figures here are, I think they are pretty good. They are more like updated versions of them. The Sasha headskin is better, like I said. It would have been cool if they would have not used the legit boss shirt, I think. Maybe you should have given her another in-ring attire and then maybe make an elite Sasha Banks down the line with a removable top shirt like they did with Lita or something. Um, Charlotte in the red attire, it's pretty much the same figure, I would say, as her recent basic release that was blue. This one is red. And not too big of a difference. I don't know if I will pick these up because I always try to get my rosters up to date. But I really don't want to spend money on these uh, women's figures. So it's kind of it's kind of a hassle. I don't know if I'm going to be picking it up. Uh, what do you think about this battle pack? Um, to be honest, I'm, I'm not going to pick it up. But those are really some nice figures right there. Um, I, I really like um, Sasha Banks' new head scan. I just not a fan of like super smiley head scan because they look so weird when you pose them in certain positions. But um, it's nice. It's nice. I like the necklace. I like the shirt because they do wear shirts sometimes in the ring. Just the fact that you can't really take the, her necklace off only if you pop the head or rip it apart. And Charlotte too. I don't think they perfected their her tire the best they could because the way it's painted on her stomach it just looks strange and not realistic at all and overall I, I don't just don't like how they look next to each other I mean the red doesn't go go great with the light blue and this was supposed to be like the definitive Sasha Banks and Charlotte look from the rivalry quote unquote the greatest women feud of all time it's it's just not the colors as I would envision it. So I think they could give us like like much better better popular tires than that. Other than that, um, it's sad that we have to really thank Mattel for actually giving us accessories. But without them, the Sasha is pretty boring. So that's all I have to say about this um, this battle pack. Yeah, I agree with the with the necklace there because I got the elite Sasha Banks and and I ripped the necklace with it too because it was re like really difficult to get off. And I think I should have swapped the hat like um, taking the hat off, but I ripped my necklace for the Sasha elite. So yeah, that is not really a battle pack that I'm looking forward to. Another battle pack that I'm not really looking forward to is the Heart Foundation battle pack. I mean, it's pretty much the hard foundation. There's like nothing new, like head scans. I think those are the same head scans as uh, their elite set. I guess for like older collectors that that like their flashbacks, the blue attire, something cool. Uh, for me, I don't really care too much, so I'm definitely not going to pick up this battle pack. Uh, how about you? Um, I'm not gonna pick it up either, but um. As I saw, like many people uh, were surprised by that and wanted actually uh, more tag teams from the 80s. And uh, I think they wore that like in the very late um, 80s, early 90s. So if you get like a hard foundation, it's not like in pink. It's, um, it's special, you know, but like I have no use for it. Yeah, same for me. So. Uh, I'm definitely not going to pick those up. Okay, and the final battle pack of the set is the uh, Bray Wyatt Luke Harper battle pack, which I think is the best battle pack of this set. Um, Luke Harper has a vest accessory, which is really cool that they are uh, including accessories again with the battle packs. Now, uh, that is something they didn't do anymore for a pretty long time and I really do appreciate that they uh, added the vest here they also added the uh, glasses with Sasha and I really do appreciate that they don't just throw in like a random surfboard like they did with the Usos or stuff 
but actually like stuff that we can use on the figures so that is pretty cool um harper looks really awesome i need it for the head scan i still have not picked up the basic that came out a while ago never found that for a good deal and bray white updated figure really really cool i first was skeptical on the head scan but when i got the up close image i thought it was really awesome of course uh, i have um, those two different bray white customs that i think are really cool as well and i think I might not need this Wyatt too bad, but it's also really surprising that the Wyatt that we're getting here is like really, really updated. He got like all the new tattoos. He got the Elimination Chamber attire, which was like a big surprise to me. And I think he got a new leg mold as well. I think I noticed that. So that is really cool. Uh, what do you think about this battle pack? Man, when I first saw this, I completely lost my mind <laughs> look at this incredible Bray Wyatt figures such an overdue I mean I talked about it and when we when we um, placed our opinions about the Sasha and Charlotte battle pack like sometimes it, it doesn't just doesn't justify buying the new releases because there's not much difference between the the older version you got a few some wrestlers but this Bray white is a must-have i mean if you look at, on the face the shirt and and one thing no many people mentioned just the pants i mean he he's got all the pockets and everything all sculpted on i mean I was I was shocked. I mean, look look at those purple boots are amazing. He's got all the newer tattoos on the left arm. I mean, it, it just it, it's a dream figure came out of nowhere. And I mean, if you know me, you know I'm like begging for a new Bray Wyatt for such a long time because all we have are those three elites like so outdated, like the the one in the white pants and all that jazz. But, but man, I, if you want to grab this battle pack, Brazer alone is worth like the 30 or 40. And I'm saying that because there is no Bray Wyatt Elite coming up in the future that we know of or been leaked. So it's definitely worth it. And about the Luke Harper coming with accessories and all, all that talk about how they included accessories and how there is four packs in one set. All of our thoughts about that are just assessments. Like, nobody knows a damn clue about what's going on with Mattel, except for Bill. Like, if, if Bill will ever explain this to us, I would be amazed because Mattel don't tend to do that. But I really would like to know the answers. Like, some of the people said that we got no accessories with the battle packs because they needed the budget to make the NXT set we saw on Ringside Fest. But then how did they get the vest and Luke Harper or, or how they got um, glasses with Sasha Banks and such? Then people started saying, oh, they, they just bringing us like entrance accessories. But those are just like assumptions. I don't think we're going to get a definitive answer for that. But it's so sad that we have to say, man, I'm so happy we get accessories with this because, I don't know, we need to get accessories with battle packs because that's the point of battle packs, in my opinion, that it comes with some accessory instead of like just having two basics in, in, in one box. I can just easily go and buy two basics at the same price. But speaking about this Harper, I think is it's pretty good. I, I like this figure a lot because it finally has like different color of pants. It can easily work for WrestleMania 31 Luke Harper. The face is incredible. I just think it's too big for the body. But if you take the head and put it on an elite, it will be like perfect. And that's all I have to say. Bray, I don't know how they make the attire so updated, but I want to assume that. He wore those pants around like the June July time of last year, and the shirt all they had to all they had to do was just put one decal on the black body, so it wasn't a lot to do. So if if they gave us like in the newer shirt for Bray Wyatt, uh, 
I, I can see why they, they just can't bring us more updated looks in shorter time than what we usually get. Because if you see like uh, a new attire or a new wrestler debuting in the main roster, and know it takes like a one year plus to get a figure of that. And that's just like so, so annoying, man. So this Bray Wyatt figure totally made my day. Yeah, definitely. So yeah. I I have like really no idea how that is all possible, how, how they decide those things. But they also did like those t-shirt series back in the day. And the t-shirts they had on those were also really outdated. So uh, I don't know why they did not do this before. Maybe it's a thing that we will see moving forward that would be really cool to have more updated figures. I would be all for that. But as speaking of upcoming figures, we also wanted to go into Elite 51 and give some uh, attire predictions. And in Elite 51, we do have six figures like always in all the Elite sets. And in the set, we do have Sami Zayn. And I'm not really sure. They, they did already did two different Sami Zayn elites. I think his attires are not really too different to each other. Uh, there's like not such a huge difference between them. But what I really would love here as an accessory would be uh, his jacket. I think that would be awesome. And I think that is one thing we're missing uh, for a really cool Sami Zayn figure. So uh, if this figure comes with a jacket, I don't really care what attire it will be. Uh, what, what do you think will this Sami Zayn be? Or what attire what will it come with? So I'm just going to talk throughout. Um, head scan will have the new Venel Forever head scan. It's going to have the same body. Just the attire will be either WrestleMania 32 or Battleground. Battleground, for those who do not know, it has the SZ logo on one side, and the other leg is got is um Dancing Man cartoon logo that uh, he uses. And uh, I'll be really happy to see him wear a cloth jacket. So if not, I'm going to be let down. So, yeah, if he has a jacket, um, I'm sold on him. Yeah, that would definitely be really cool. And we have in the set Roman Reigns. And like I said earlier in the Battle Packs set, I think this Roman Reigns is going to be in his red attire. I would be really, really surprised if it won't be. And I think it will also come with a United States Championship. And I think that will pretty much be the figure. There will be not much else to it. It will be a red Roman Reigns uh, with United States Championship. And that's going to be it in my opinion. Uh, what do you think? That's exactly what I think. I mean, my friends suggest that they maybe will wear blue because so we will differ from the basic. But I think like it's vintage Mattel to give us the elite to wear exactly what the basic wears. But what I'm really looking forward here is a new face scan because they use the newer one like what feels like a million times. So the only way I'm going to buy this phone range if it has a new head sculpt. The yeah, United States Championship is a must because we didn't get one since like Elite 40 with John Cena, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, not not much to think about it when we, when we talk about Roman. It's got to be from his feud with Rusev because we already got the WrestleMania 32. So yeah. Yeah, and speaking of the hat skin... Uh, I think we need a new Roman head scan, even though the one they, they have at the moment, the one that came on Elite 45 and the WrestleMania figure, I think that head scan was really good. So I don't really would mind it if it didn't have a new head scan, but a new head scan would be great, of course, like always. So uh, also in the set, we have probably the most anticipated figure of the set. We have AJ Styles. And now... I do hope Mattel makes up for the disaster of what was Elite 47. Uh, they need to give AJ a bigger lax. They need to give AJ a bigger torso. I hope they're going to go with the Sin Cara torso. It should not be too difficult for Mattel to like just... They, they can keep the mold. They just need to uh, use a different skin tone. I think that should not be too difficult for Mattel at all to make. Uh, Tire-wise... 
first off, I was thinking SummerSlam because that was a pretty big night for AJ. But then uh, the SummerSlam attire is pretty similar to the uh, Elite 47 attire. So I think that's not going to be the case. I was hoping it would be the Payback attire in red. They made the basic. Of course, it could be possible that they do the attire again. I think I would even be happy about that because the Payback attire was just awesome. Uh, otherwise, I think it will be the attire where he turned on John Cena, the black one that he also had, I think, in, 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 a, in a battle pack. Or it might was the newest basic. They are pretty similar. But I could see that being that. Otherwise, I don't really know. AJ, was there another attire that he wear? Of course, it could be a WrestleMania. But I'm not sure. WrestleMania seems like if we're getting rains from like around the fall time. I guess rains, the Rusev feud was like around hell in a cell. So it was not fall. And then AJ in his WrestleMania attire would be kind of weird. So I think I would go with the red payback attire. I think they're going to repeat what they did with the basic. And uh, throw in an entrance jacket or something. Uh, so I would say it's going to be payback red attire. Uh, what do you think? Um, first of all, one thing you didn't mention again is the head scan. They gotta give us. A new head scan. I'm I grown so tired about uh, seeing this, this um first head scan. Of so many customs, so many figures, so many elites, basics, whatever. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be very happy if they give us like one true definitive AJ Styles face scan because the one we got now is is alright, but it's not the best. It's also too big. So if they give us like a screaming one. It will be it will be brilliant. Um, about the attire, I'm gonna put my money. It's the WrestleMania attire because uh, so many people freaked out over this attire. I remember on the forums, so many people wanted this, but then came Payback in red, which was so awesome. Like we never thought you're gonna get AJ in red in the WWE, or maybe that was just my friend suggesting that. But um, we got that attire, I think, in the WrestleMania exclusive basic. So if they want to keep that uh, attire true exclusive, uh, they won't give us this payback attire in Elite. Although I would want to get this attire as the Elite, as that I'm not such a huge fan of the WrestleMania one. Um, I want to say that it will have the correct elbow pad. But if it's a prediction video, I'm just going to say that it's not going to happen because I don't know what's going on with Mattel. Yeah, they have, they can do pretty much whatever they want if they have the parts, but I don't see them giving us either the, they're going to give us the Sin Cara torso or, or the one you said. I mean, they're never going to use the Kofi Kingston torso for anyone anybody else than Kofi or a Sinkara torso for anybody else for Sinkara because it's just how Mattel works like um, we begged so much when when I say we I say the people in the message board they're saying like Bill we use this and that all the time and like it's never happening so I'm going to assume you're going to have like the same mold all over again but um it can always surprise us. I mean, he gave us um, the new, the correct torso for Finn Balor, the muscular one. So we have to see. Yeah, and and speaking of the body mold, uh, the Kofi Kingston torso, I think that would also work really well for Seth Rollins because there was a guy, a customer of us, that requested that, and I wish I would have gotten the time to uh, include that in a custom review. But we had a Seth Rollins Elite custom using the Kofi Kingston torso, like painted skin tone and stuff, and it looked really good. So um, they definitely should just try stuff like that because they have the mold anyways, and I would assume it's not really hard to just change the skin tone for it for them. But uh, you, like you said, you never know uh, what's going on with Mattel why they don't give AJ the right elbow pad even though they could because they they have the mold there um, just 
for people the Bret Hart elbow pad is kind of rare for Mattel it w would be so easy to reproduce but uh, they just don't and I don't know if you want to give predictions on the other three I think I just don't care enough for for those to, uh -huh. to give like my predictions uh, if you want to do them um, you can do them but uh, yeah j just do it if you want well, uh, in one sentence, I can I can say that Mankind is going to be the Amazon exclusive one, which is the debut Mankind in brown, because so many people wanted this and it was just sold out immediately. Also, the Scott Hall will probably be the leaked one from the um, NWO four pack exclusive Walmart, whatever you want to call it, that was crapped in the uh, United States. So I would think it's this one. So uh, if not, then maybe it's going to be like um, the Wolfpack Scott Hall with the new head scan. Because um, I remember, if I, if I do remember this correctly, Bill has mentioned somewhere that he's going to use that Scott Hall head scan again because yeah, it looked um, very good in his eyes. And uh, he was uh, also disappointed about the fact that it didn't... Um, release in the uh, United States for some reason yeah, uh, to, uh, yeah to add to that uh, I saw on, on Instagram there was a guy that apparently had the a prototype for Elite 51 um, Scott Hall and it was like more like the ringside exclusive it had like a vest with it so if, if, if that's true if that's the prototype it was like a prototype you know where it's like not really painted yet it was just like the parts painted in like weird colors and it, it looked like the ringside exclusive one uh, with the vest so I don't know if it's true but that guy also had a prototype of the berserker so I don't really know it might be true then in that case it would not be the uh, Hall of Fame 4 pack attire but uh, we will see uh, I'm, I don't really care for the figure too much anyway so I uh, just want to say that um Wherever it's the Scott Hall in jeans or the, the Wolfpack in ring attire, people are going to be really happy to get this one. And uh, what you said about the, the guy that was uh, like posting prototypes, uh, he, like he said something about along the lines of uh, don't share my photos with anybody, but if you already threw it out there. So we're not going to uh, just like expose him or telling his name to anybody so you wouldn't appreciate that but uh if you if you know who we are, we are talking about then uh you i guess you already saw those prototypes but uh more or less you're gonna see photos of this set in about a month maybe less and uh to be honest i'm really looking forward to this berserker because it, it looks like it's going to be such a fun figure to have just as, as a figure collector as a whole. I mean, I had the Berserker in a Hasbro figure. Like, my brother collected them, like, um, 15 years ago. So uh, it, it, will be, it will be cool to see how Mattel produces them next to the one we got in the Hasbro line. I think uh, he look, his look is so, like, so cartoonish, so gimmicky. So it's going to be a very fun-looking figure. But I'm uh, obviously going to pass on him, on Scott Hall and Mankind, because I'm a current roster-only collector, just like that. Yeah. But um, I think this set is going gonna, is gonna to be gonna be very good. But obviously, like the highlight of the set is AJ Styles, and the rest just only they... I don't know. Only if they impress me to, to, to a point where I really want to get them. Yeah, and we will definitely be back once we have pictures of the set, uh, which could be soon because they are coming out in early June, but uh, it could be that we just get pictures in early June like it happened with all the recent Battle Pack sets uh, because apparently Mattel did not send images to Ringside for those, so we just got images of them once ringside received them so that was kind of weird i hope we get elite 51 images earlier um and like i said we will definitely be back once uh we have pictures of those 
And uh, that pretty much wraps it up for the episode. There was nothing really new. Uh, too much, too much news, I mean. And, yeah, like I said, we will be back once we have more news. And I want to thank FW Universe for doing the show again. Thank you very much. You're welcome. And like I said, uh, check out his YouTube channel as well. And I will be back pretty soon with Death Machine Customs. And we're going to do the GCW WrestleMania edition of Talk and Fix as well. I hope that will be out soon. It depends on when we can get it done. And maybe I will even uh, do that with him today. Depends on when he gets online and stuff. So uh, that pretty much wraps it up. Like I said, thank you guys for watching. And we see you all in the next one.